Praise God again and welcome to I Say a Prayer for You. Um, this is um, a, a section of, of my ministry and it's online. Um, you can join us at um, spiritualityandsexuality.ning.com and um, you know subscribe you know uh, to our YouTube page as well and of course send in your messages if it's so important and of course um, I have decided that um, people can send in all manner of messages and um, it will be published um, and um, it, it really does not matter I think that sometimes when we get all the negative messages it does help to strengthen us and and keep us grounded in our faith in God so um, um, but anyway we, we just see how things go God bless you um, you know today um, in in the devotion I say a little prayer for you um, I just started to look at scriptures you know again um, what I often do Matthew chapter 28 this is a very popular one verse 18 to 20 and this is what it says all authority Jesus said this all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me go therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you and remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. When the Bible speaks to the people, it is often inclusive in many ways. Many theologians, whether conservative or, uh, or liberal, often identify with a specific text. We spoke in time bound and to specific peoples. However, there are texts in the Bible we can agree that spoke to all people and never discriminated in any way. For example, John 3.16 For God so loved the world that God gave God's only begotten Son so that everyone who believes in Him may not perish but have eternal life. I love that one. I really do. Because it does not discriminate at all. It doesn't. The same with the text today, Matthew 28.18-20. I mean, you can pick up your Bible and you know read it. I mean, send in your comments whether it's you know this text is selective um, whether they discriminate against gay and lesbian people um, when the Bible says that everyone who believes in Jesus may not perish but have eternal life does that statement exclude gay and lesbian people I want to hear from you now this verse spoke to the lives of all people regardless of race nationality wealth or health status the key point is everyone who believes for me and many people who identify as lesbians gay bisexual or transgender intersex questioning we are excluded by popular religion from the opportunity or chance to express our beliefs as anyone at least we are rest assured from the same text that God loved the world and if that is the case the world includes lesbian gay bisexual and transgender people and I conclude that the scripture is in no wise discriminatory so it has to be people's interpretation that discriminates the opening text in today's devotion is Matthew um, 28 18 to 20 um, uh, you know the, the text in, in today's devotion and prayers uh, is also non-discriminatory Jesus was not selective of who he will grant the power and authority he went through death and death and hell to ensure we all have it we all have the power and authority and I invite all people lesbians gay bisexual transgender intersex uh, heterosexual questioning trying to have sex people to claim that to claim the authority uh, authority in heaven and earth has been given to us we all need to step out to save all people we do not need any specialized church you know we don't need us and them church let us go therefore and make disciples of all nations regardless of race or sexual orientation baptizing them in the name of the Creator and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything that we have been commanded and that commandment is that we love God with all of our hearts our minds and strength and love our neighbors as ourselves so go on go and do it God bless you and God bless our universe Amen <music>